He's been amazing. And it it really is a reflection of the type of person he is, you know, and, and the IQ he has for the game, you know, and he, dem- he commands the respect. And it's not through just coming in and being a kind of typical rah-rah coach being on us. It's just giving us a comfortable space to grow, to communicate, to throw ideas out there. And then you got a, you got a two-time MVP coaching, man. I'm like, you know, I think I got to take back my comments in terms of head coach back a few months ago. But it's just like, man, we have such a great synergy. It, everyone feels like we're coaching one another to be better. So I'm grateful for that. Kind of there jokingly. I take back those comments. Just your reaction, uh, his his respect uh, for Steve Nash. Well, I think, you know, when you look at Steve Nash as a player, this guy was a beloved leader on his teams. You know, go ask Amari Stoudemire, who's now an assistant coach there. Sean Marion, Boris Diaw, Leandro Barbosa. When he played with these guys, the one thing about Steve Nash, always a terrific leader. To me, he's got the right temperament for the job. And let's remember, on that bench, you have a lot of experience with Mike D'Antoni, Jock Vaughn, and Ime Adoka. He'll lean on those guys a lot. But Steve, for me, he's got the right temperament for the job, and I think he does have the respect of his players. But we'll see when there's some adversity because he hasn't been through that yet, and we'll see that first technical foul. Maybe we'll be on the air that day when he gets it because <laughs> it it's coming at some point. It was very cool in yeah. that first preseason game. It's preseason.